Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acuma channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the America One K95 face mask. These masks are made in the USA and we purchased them from Amazon. Here is the listing. They come in a 20 pack for $19.80. The listing also has a 4.4 out of 5 rating with 1,840 reviews. These do follow the GB2626 2006 uh, standard. Let's go ahead and take a look at these masks really quick before we run them through our TSI machine. So this is how they look. They do come individually wrapped. These are on the thinner side. Let's go ahead and pull them. Ooh, okay. These are not very strong, but I think it's the bottom ones more. I didn't really pull that hard. And if I pull hard on these, yeah, the top ones aren't coming off, but the bottom ones came out really easily. So I got a new one and I'm going to go ahead and try it on really quick just so that we can see how they fit on my face and get a quick reference. One thing I also want to point out is that the nose wire is a little flimsy, but let's go ahead and try it on. Okay. So these do have a very strong chemical smell. I am having some trouble um, adjusting this, no this nose wire to my face. But this is how they look. I do feel like I am getting a good fit. I feel like my ears, I feel like my ears are getting pushed to the front a little bit. And at any given time, this thing is going to come out. Everywhere else, I am getting a good seal other than this part here because I am getting a lot of leakage because of the nose wire. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency and pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample tested at 99.19% and a pressure drop of 10.2 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration percentage of 98.85 and a pressure drop of 9.9 .9 millimeters of water. The last sample had a filtration percentage of 98.98% and a pressure drop of 9.8 millimeters of water. So these masks had pretty good results for both filtration efficiency and pressure drop. But like I did mention, I did come across the issue of the nose wire. I was not really able to get a good seal and I was getting a lot of leakage. But other than that, these are reasonably priced masks and they do fall within the K95 standard. So I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next. Or if you would like to send in a mask or respirator, please look at the description box down below. We're going to be leaving our address along with our website, which is acumed.com. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.